Alex Yu Show, 300 seconds of life-changing wisdom, inspiring you to be healthy, happy and extraordinary. I'm Alex Yu and today the topic is fear, how to triumph over fear. We are going to do a lot of videos on this topic, this is just the beginning since fear is such a big topic. But it is probably one of the most important ones that needs to be resolved because it affects every single part of your life. The very first thing that we need to do is actually understand what is fear. So we can stop fearing fear itself. Fear is simply a feeling experienced in your three-dimensional physical body. It's a very primitive, if not the most primitive and fundamental feelings of all because physically the body needs to protect itself. So fear as a feeling is what drives the body to avoid certain things in life so it can protect itself, survive. But if we look at it even further, biochemically, what gives us the feeling of fear and all of its levels, it's very simple. There's different hormones that are involved in what actually starts the experience of fear and it brings your body in the feeling of fear. So if we actually look at it as a happening or as what it is, it's biochemically hormonal experiences in the physical body. So as such, you, the experiencer, need to start separating yourself from the experience. Fear is something you feel and when you feel it, it seems extremely real and it is real. Here, we have to stop saying, wow, it's not real, it's not real, it doesn't exist, it doesn't exist. It exists in your mind. Fear exists in your mind because it's a result of a biochemical reactions that are in your body. Now, what those reactions are is not the topic of this conversation. They can be researched and found online very easily. But the biochemical reactions that happen in your body, they bring the experience of fear inside your body. You are the experiencer. The most important and fundamental thing for you to understand is that you are the experiencer, not the fear itself. The fear that you're feeling inside is real in your mind. It's really happening. But you are not it. You are the experiencer of the fear. As soon as you contemplate and understand just for a second that you're not the fear and this horrible feeling of it, you start to have knowledge of it. You start to know that feeling and the separation of it. This knowingness, this wisdom is the only way that you will ever, ever conquer and triumph over your fears. You must create the awareness. You must create the knowingness. Wow, wait a minute. I am scared about the mortgage payment or money, but this is happening in my mind. It starts provoking biochemical reactions and I feel the fear. This is not what I am. It's what I experience, but it isn't what I am. That allows you to actually have this feeling, own it and being able to then triumph of it. And what does that give you? That knowledge gives you the power to change that thought that created the feeling. Because now you know it. You've got the wisdom of what this fear is. You've got the wisdom of what this fear was created by. You own this fear by knowing this is the fear and this is me, the experiencer. Now, as soon as we start separating this, you're gonna start to notice more and more often how and when your body actually enters in the state of fear. And now the second step of this exercise is now start to recognize what are the reasons that bring you into fear. After you know what thoughts bring these experiences of fear, you can then start to work with them and untangle them in your mind because often they're very deep. It's work, but it's worth it. You are a fascinating being and fear is on the way of you showing your extraordinary. I'm Alex Yu, inspiring you to be healthy, happy and extraordinary. 
Until next time, until then, keep on mind triumphing.